Today's episode is brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome to Film Riot's Epic Summer. Today we're jumping back into more goodness with Andrew Kramer. Today Andrew's going to talk a little bit more about shooting his short film Intercept, which officially comes out next Thursday. Yes, just one more week until we release what Andrew's been cooking up. But until then, let's take another look at Andrew's process. You gotta stay hydrated. So one of the things that you're gonna have to learn to do when you're making a movie is to cheat shots. And that is to get a shot at an angle that doesn't really exist, but you wanna imply its existence. So for example, when you're on a rooftop and you only have cool buildings in one direction and the other direction, you know, it looks like there's cows and grass and all this kind of stuff. You wanna try to find the shots that have the largest scale, assuming that's what you're going for. But in the case of this uh, film, we want to kind of have a big scope. And so finding shots at different angles, cheating the sunlight, it really can add to your production. And I'm not sure we're going to be able to pull that off. You know, the, at the end of the day, you are trying to tell a story. And if you get too hung up on the technicalities, you know, you could spend all day long trying to figure that stuff out. And sometimes it's better just to shoot it because of all the mistakes that people might find in your film, there's a dozen more that they don't even recognize or re, you know notice that it was that way. So another really important thing is getting sound. So we're actually out here on this, uh, I don't know if it's a train track, there's like helicopters, and trains, uh, it's been it's been crazy. So luckily, we've got a couple of different audio setups. We've got a wireless microphone that we're able to conceal on one of our actors, and then we're actually shooting with a road microphone with this blimp because it's actually pretty windy out here as well. So that's been really helping. Brian, how does it sound, buddy? Sounds good. You hear that? All right, so we just got a shot using the uh, Movi M5. So this is an image stabilizing system. So it's like a gyro stabilizer. And we just got an incredible shot uh, flying around the car. I'm running and uh, you know, I don't know what else to say about it. It's incredible. We've been here shooting uh, for a couple of hours and you know, to be able to knock out these insane complicated shots in just a couple of takes, you know, it, it's, it's great. So. Uh, I think it just kind of re-energized us for the rest of the shoot. It basically allows the camera to stay steady in a single position and actually it'll pan and do a lot of like really cool things and you can program it to be smoother, slower, faster. And we've just found, you know, the system works so fast on the go. Some people don't know how the Movi system works. Um, there's a computer in it and you see, you know, the, the programmers, um, the, the the computer processing and then and then we shoot with it. <laughs> <laughs> Domain.com is the place to go to register your new domain name and now they got some dot club goodness. Dot club is universal and understood globally. It's perfect if you're building a new business site or naming a film startup because if you think about it, any business or new idea really is a club. The internet's all about community and collaboration, which makes Dot Club perfect. So go to domain.com slash club to register your Dot Club domain name. They're only $9.99 a year. Thousands of options are still available. And make sure you use the coupon code FILMRIGHT to save 25%. You save money. They know you heard it from us. And when you think domain names, think domain.com. And that's it for today. Again, just one more week to the release of Andrew's short film, Intercept. Of course, don't forget to check out the notes below for all the info on our collaborators and filmmakers, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>